Okay, it's time to configure Zen Desktop. 7.6, uh, sorry, just, just hold on a second, yep. Configuring Zen Desktop 7.6 using Citrix Studio. So let's do it. I'm on, I'm back on server XT1. What I will do, I will launch Citrix Studio. So I will sort by date and yeah. Citrix Studio. And here it goes. Yeah. Welcome to Citrix Studio. This is the console that you use to deliver applications and desktop, manage your environment, configure delivery controller and storefront. Uh, as you can see, you have three different tasks, three different wizards, deliver application and desktops to users, or if you want to enable remote access, or you want to add another domain, uh, delivery controller to your existing site. Of course, I will go for option one. Two options, fully configured production ready site, and this is what I will do. I will give this site uh, name, let's say, IT Sense Bird. Hi from Bird. Okay. We are using this wizard to create production ready site. Database server. Here I need to specify the database server name or IP address. And my database is on the same machine. If you remember, in one of my previous video, I installed SQL Server on the same machine, on XD1. So what I will say, I will say localhost. And I have to say test connection. It won't find. So it will say click OK to create the database. So if I click OK, it will automatically create database, require database with appropriate schema. And that will be the name of the database. Licensing server, it's also licensing server component is also installed on this machine. And again, you have two options. You can use 30 days eval or you have in case if you have an existing license file, you can select option number two and browse it and provide it here. When you register with Citrix, all you have to do, uh, you get an ID, you use that ID to generate a license file, and you upload it now or later. All right, under connections, this is the way, uh, this is the window where you specify connection to hypervisor. You can use Hyper-V, you can use vSphere or Citrix Zen server. I'll choose Citrix Zen server, which is selected by default. And under connection address, I need to mention a URL to my Citrix Zen server. And then specify username and password. Uh, that's uh, fine, uh, Citrix Zen server, so let's add here, HTTP, yeah, access one dot IT sense dot com, username root, and password. Name of this connection, I will say, let's say access one, Type one connection. And what I would like to do, I would like to create virtual desktop using machine creation services or MCS, which is selected by default. There is an, another option, another tool, or other tool, like for example, PBS, uh, which we'll discuss in some other videos in the future. So I will select machine creation services which is selected by default and it detected network for my Zen server I named it production and here it's showing the storage 
for Zen server and I will use the same storage for virtual machine and personal VDisk. Personal VDisk is a disk where user profile will store, will be stored. You know, profile includes my documents, desktop, and all those sad things. And in case if you want to use different uh, storage, you can specify. If you want to add app publishing, you can add it this way, but I don't have any app we server at the moment, so I'll say no. And yep, this is a summary. Now I don't want to send any information and finish. So when I click finish, it will configure my site once again. Let me just re verify. Yep. Everything looks good. Okay, so our Zen desktop site is ready and we have created a site, we have created connection to our Zen server, which will be used uh, by delivery controller to provision virtual machine desktop. As you can see, I just click tests. I just want to test site configuration. And there are lots of tests, I think around 184 tests, yeah. So it's performing all the tests to make sure everything is okay. And okay, okay. So it's performing all those 194 tests and it's almost done. 183 out of 194. So far so good. It should be good, I mean, I mean it was a visitor, right? We just follow wizard and we provided some values, our choices. So should be good if everything is properly installed. While it's doing this, uh, performing these checks, let me just show you these articles about how to activate license. You need to register with Citrix. You need to log on to mycitrix.com. Use the ID that will be sent to you by Citrix and generate a license file. Once you will generate this license file, Let's say for evaluation, it will extend your evaluation to for up to 90 days. Then you can have up to 90 days to test the product. Uh, if you don't do this, then you have 30 days, as you can see, by, which was while well, we were installing it, you had 30 days. If you have a production license, let's say you already purchased your license, then this is also a way to generate license for your host. It asks for host name, and you provide that host name, and based on that host name, it generates a license file, and you download that license file and upload it. Um, it's a very simple process, nothing special. Once you register with MyCitrix, your account, you, you get all the instructions step by step what to do next. But Citrix licensing, we use the concept of license file. No key numbers or, you know, an activation key. You need to have a license file. Okay, all 194 tests. It's been done and we passed all of them. So as you can see, uh, so far things looks very well, very good. Citrix is storefront. 
go. Uh, look, okay. We have a storefront also using HTTP. So this is it, guys. We have installed. It's using HTTP, and that's what we will do next. We need to use HTTPS, so we will install SSL certificate on the server so that we can configure our storefront to use HTTPS. Here, some other stuff you can see under hosting. This is the connection for our Zen server. And this is it. So thank you, and I'd like to see you in another video.